good afternoon. Thank you for staying, a few of you. I know it's lunchtime, everybody's hungry. I appreciate it. I'll go over uh, YDX innovation. Uh, familiar faces here, so a lot of uh, know our story. You might know us uh, by Y Dreams. We just uh, we did a rebrand. We go over that, why we changed the name. Um, y YDX, we, we create interactive technology. We've been doing this for many, many years. We're a leader in the segment. Um, delivering high quality, interactive, uh, out of home experiences in the end. Um, we went public 2016 and the goal with that was to use our technology in an um, exponential way, to really uh, create technology that would be everywhere, be useful. And um, that's what we're going for here. That's why I use uh, exponential results and try to multiply and use technology as uh, a way to change the world in the end. These are our enterprises right now. Wide Dreams is the first one. We've been with Wide Dreams about uh, 12, 12 years now. Um, we'll go over each one of them. I have 10 minutes, so I'll go very brief. We have a booth next door. Most of you have stopped by. Uh, come by to play a game and some VR, kill some aliens. <laughs> uh, so Wide Dreams Global, Arcave, and Game On. Those are our three enterprises. We're still creating more and partnerships, so stay tuned because we're always looking for uh, ways to use our technology and transform them into new products. So our cave is a technology we brought. It's a turnkey product. Uh, it's been sold now. We launched it last November. So it's a new product to the, uh, to the North America market. We already, we, so we launched in last November, we closed the first deal right away, open before Christmas. Uh, what it is, is a gaming arena. So you, you can try firsthand, it's the best way to experience, but it's a, it's a multiplayer VR platform where uh, we're selling this to different types of entertainment centers like bowling alleys, uh, trampoline parks. There are thousands and thousands of spaces like this from, from the Dave Busters to the small uh, family-owned uh, entertainment centers. Uh, it's a huge industry. Uh, VR is growing a lot as an out-of-home entertainment option. Um, so we want to be the, the, main, the main solution for that. We have a very uh, a technology that is very, very much ahead of the game right now. So we have to maximize on that and uh, really push on the business development side of things and uh, expand this uh, in sales now for 2019. There's a huge potential in the market. There's about 30,000 uh, venues that could be potential clients. Um, it's a technology that sells for $84,000. So you can imagine selling 100 of these would give a huge boost in revenues for the company. Also comes with uh, recurring. So we charge 1,200 uh, a month for each arena. So that means that the company can have also a boost in recurring revenues day to day. Um, you have to try, but I'll go over some of this. It's a free roaming, full body tracking. You feel like you're completely inside the game. Um, it's a multiplayer, three players. Uh, when we, our first clients in the US already have the potential to really roll it out, launch our second client we open right after New Year's. It's a trampoline park with 20 locations in the US alone. So we're already talking about the second and third. So there's potential to growth. Uh, and a lot of the other uh, clients we're talking to, they have multiple locations, so, which is great. Uh, y Dreams Global, it's a company that's been delivering high-end projects for many, many years, over 24 million uh, revenues over the past uh, seven years. Uh, we work with um, uh, most of the big brands out there. We create an interactive playground for the NBA, an augmented reality experience for Disney. We have work with uh, completely redesigning a bank branch, uh, been featuring magazines like Wired and Fast Company. So it's really uh, highly innovative and a leader in the interactive uh, technology in the world. So a lot of the technology, for example, Arcave and the others, uses the Wide Dreams expertise uh, that basically is, uh, you know, it uses as an agency in creating projects. This is some of our numbers, uh, a lot of awards or innovations. Uh, we're working with great brands and big events like the World Cup. We did the Olympic Museum. Uh, we, we were working at the World Cup since 2006. We did a huge project for Adidas that all over Europe. Um, some of the client lists. And um, this year we're bringing here a novelty. 
we're launching a new product called Game On Festival, very much in tune with what uh, this stage has been all about, eSports, gaming, professional gaming. And uh, so what it is is uses the, combines both expertise of the company, of uh, interactive storytelling and gaming. So it's, a, it's an event, comes to town, almost like a Cirque du Soleil. It has uh, two main attractions, I would say. One is the interactive exhibition. So it's a large exhibition about the history of video games. Using all the expertise we had in digital storytelling um, acquired with, by Y Dreams. So when you go and, and take your family to see you, you re remember all the eras of the video games. You got to relive some of the classics in a different way. Uh, we're creating, a, you know, uh, for example, Pac-Man in VR, where you, have, where you are Pac-Man running away from ghosts, things like that. So it's a, it's a new look into the history of video games, uh, very educational, also talking about the industry as a, as a, as a business exp opportunity, uh, career, etc., for the new generation. Uh, but also, one of the important features of this is the esports. So it's an esports event, um, but it's with a different twist. We hear about a lot about uh, events for esports. They're a focus on professional gamers, right? The big leagues, etc., like that. Uh, I wanted to create something that my kid could participate. So we're creating the game on youth league. It's something uh, where you get to experience a little bit of the professional side of uh, gaming. Um, most of the gamers now, they're experienced completely online. So even when my kid now is playing uh, Fortnite and he's in a tournament, I don't even know, right? He's playing with his friends, I don't know. We don't follow, families are kind of lost in that. So the, the youth league comes to help with that. It's educational um, and is an opportunity for the parents to take their kids, just like I take my kid to play soccer, basketball, or volleyball, I'll go and watch them play the leagues. And it's a, you know, it's a local league, so he talk, he's playing with his friends against uh, kids from other communities close by. Uh, so it generates that uh, educational aspect where people are watching their kids and under, understand a little bit better of their universe and actually connecting with their kids. So this, uh, this is a big project for us. Um, Esports is growing a lot, but there's still a lot of rooms for innovative events like this. Um, this is a, a, a product that we're going to focus a lot of energy this year, so we're going to see a lot of this in the news. Um, this is, uh, we're connecting with a lot of brands that want to participate and engage, uh, finding unique ways to, to connect with the community and their, and their potential clients and the millennials, of course. Um, so this is a large project for us, and it will drive also, for 2020 specifically, should roll out. So our goal is in 2019, uh, second semester, probably third quarter, launch the first edition in North America. Last year we launched a similar product in Brazil. It was an interactive uh, exhibition about uh, famous gamers and YouTubers. It did very well, attracted a lot of kids. Uh, was a big hit, so it really inspired us to, to do something bigger to the U.S. and, and Canadian market. So about uh, Game On, it has a lot of uh, also a lot of opportunity to bring the professional gamers and entertain and educate and uh, bring all the fans close to their to their heroes of today. All right, I'm doing well. I have a minute to spare. Let's see. Um, Capture structure, so we've been public since 2016. Um, last year, I have to say, Kentech was, uh, was, was great for us. Our stock uh, pretty much doubled a week after being here. Uh, allowed us to do a, a great finance uh, to, to improve our cave and get the results that we're showing up this year. This is our capture structure, so we have about uh, 60 million free trading. Uh, and I, I'm next door, so our booth is really next door, so stop by and we can talk more numbers. Uh, so our goals now for 2019, some of the milestones we wanted for 2018 were reached. So we finally launched the product in North America with two successful sales right away and a lot more being negotiated. Um, we have a couple of very cool IP deals going for our cave, meaning that we've been developing our own games for our cave and now we have the opportunity to create games using characters and IP that people recognize. And they're very, very big IP. So that would jumpstart uh, the company in terms of uh, awareness of the market, PR, and et cetera. So 
you know, stay tuned because the next, uh, next couple of weeks will be very important for the growth of the company and really should change uh, and the pace and, and um, okay, I'm done. Uh, and how we grow in 2019 really is a year to watch YDX. Thank you very much.